If you've deployed out your Laravel project behind a load bouncer, you may have run across a similar issue that we see right here, which is the CSS isn't coming up for this particular example. If we go to our developer tools and look at the console, you could see that there is some mixed usage between HTTP and HTTPS. And you might be wondering what's going on. As you can see, SSL is enabled for the site. We can see the lock icon right there that tells us that. But we see all this mixed content. And if we click on one of these items and open up in the new tab, look, it also renders an HTTPS. So what's going on here is with the load bounce setup, and I'm gonna click back on this first tab right here, we have our load bouncer right here, and this is where the SSL cert is applied. But on the target servers, we don't have SSL running there. And what's happening basically is a request is going into the load bouncer as HTTPS, and then there's an internal request going over port 80, essentially terminating SSL, and it's just getting this back in HTTP. So what we need to do is find a way for the assets to be returned over HTTPS and not HTTP. And there's a couple ways to do so. And to show you, we're gonna jump over into our code. The first method is to basically force a URL scheme to force everything into HTTPS. So if you go to the app service provider.php file, and what we did here is just add this if statement. If this app is running in production environment, we're gonna force the scheme for URLs to be HTTPS as opposed to HTTP, which is the default. So we've included this if statement here, as well as up here we added this line, use Luminate support facades URL. After making these updates, we'll just push it to our Git repo and then go back to Cleaver. In Cleaver, I'm gonna to go to the web app section. So I've already deployed this out. I've deployed it with basically the schema that breaks everything. And let's go into web apps and then we're gonna to go to the settings section and then click on code repository. And then for branch to deploy, instead of master, I have my changes in HTTPS. So we'll select that and then click on update. And then let's go ahead and deploy out this branch. And it looks like it has deployed, so let's go back to that tab and then do a hard refresh here. And then now we'll see that the CSS is being applied and we no longer have those mixed content errors on our dev console here. So that's one way to get around the issue with mixed content is to force all the URLs to go to HTTPS when in production. That's not necessarily though the recommended route. Going to Laravel's documentation, the documented way to resolve this is to add the trusted proxies directly to the protected proxies area within the trusted proxies middleware. Okay, so let's see what that looks like in our code. All right, back in our code on the trustproxies.php file, we see line 15 right here, protected proxies, and then all we really need to do is add an equals, and then let's add in our trusted proxies. You have a couple options that you could do. You could add an asterisk, and that's gonna basically allow for anything, or we could go back to Cleaver, and then we'll go back to the server section and into our load bouncer, and then here what we could do is just copy the trusted proxy, in this case, the load bouncer IP, which is right here at the very top. So we'll copy that and go back to our code, and then we'll add that as a trusted proxy right there. Again, just push these changes to your Git repo, and then go back to Cleaver. And we'll go back to the web app section here. And then again to settings, code repository. And then for branch to deploy, I've already had those changes added to the proxies branch right here. So I'm gonna select that, click on update, and then go to deployments, and then we'll deploy this out. All right, now we have the proxies branch deployed. Let's go back to Laravel blog and then do a hard refresh. And essentially what we should see is basically exactly the same thing. All right, so that's the two different ways that you could get rid of that mixed content error when you have your Laravel app behind a load bouncer. One is you could force HTTPS URLs to be returned. And then the second way, which is the documented way on Laravel's website, is to just add the trusted proxy servers directly to your code.